The Victorian era is often remembered for the Industrial Revolution, the clothes, and Queen Victoria, of course. The terms prim and proper probably come to mind more readily than, say, gym rat. However, weightlifting and calisthenics had already made their way into the realms of activity by the Victorian period. Believe it or not, there were a lot of Victorian era gym rats. Plenty of men and women trying to achieve the ideal body according to Grecian standards. This health trend was mainly found in the middle class, seeing as the working class had hard manual labor to keep them in their physical peak, while the upper class often boasted of their obesity as a sign of having excess. The Victorian fitness craze might first be traced back to the publication of Donald Walker's book, British Manly Exercises, in 1837. The book included diagrams showing proper rowing technique, horse riding instructions, and detailed guidance on how to lunge, vault, and wrestle. Walker also included exercises borrowed from different cultures, such as strength training from India, which offered the most effectual types of athletic training known anywhere, at least based on what the British officers who were stationed there were claiming. So weightlifting quickly became popular with the British military and was largely adopted in their training practices. Achieving physical fitness gradually became a cornerstone of Victorian values. This was largely inspired by cultural trends such as muscular Christianity, which originated in England in the mid-19th century. Muscular Christianity emphasized the importance of training the body to reflect the devotion to both God and society. Now, I enjoy going to the gym, so it being shut down so much in the last year has made me a little sad, but the extra time did, me have, did have me out rowing my kayak a little bit more frequently when the weather permitted it, not certainly during the winter time. Certainly not the type of rowing that Walker would have been demonstrating, but it's still a good workout. Now, are you a gym rat, or do you prefer to get your exercise with good old-fashioned constitutional walks, or through types of activity that get things done? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!